Anya Kurihara says she was fired from her last job in Nevada after she came out as a transgender female and started showing up to work dressed as a woman. One grand day I got called into the office. First I got talking to about how wrong it was, you know, trying to say it's not really workplace appropriate. And I'm like, I, as much as I'll try to explain it, it just... It's like talking to a wall. So she moved to San Francisco and went to a local job fair geared towards gay and transgender job seekers. California has some really wonderful laws in place, but often people aren't always informed about the protections that transgender people have. According to surveys by the Williams Institute of Sexual Orientation Law and Public Policy, 43% of gay and transgender workers say they've experienced some discrimination on the job. 28% received a poor review or were passed up for a promotion due to their gender identity. And 17% say they weren't hired to begin with or were fired because of their orientation. Trans people are twice as likely than the general population to have a bachelor's degree or higher than the general population, but also twice as likely to be unemployed. Danielle Kramer is looking for a sales job and says this is the first time she's searched while openly identifying herself as a woman. This is basically flushed all the fear away and I'm now being able to go out there and be who I want to be and not worry about how other people perceive me. They are there because they think that uh, you can do the job. So it does make you feel like I do have a chance to prove that I am worthy to work. The center hosting the job fair also holds workshops for employers to better understand the transgender community. Haven Daily, Associated Press, San Francisco.